This is Fox. Home of Super Bowl 31. Giving away tons and tons and tons of cool prizes to the people in this very studio. You guys pretty excited about that part of the Figured that you might be. Before we get going, though, gotta introduce a very important part of the show. The baddest band on Sunday Night TV, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. And the Pussycat Dogs. All right, now... 1996 election year tonight, we will nominate a new presidential candidate to represent all the interests of the Big Deal Party. Of course, those interests include greed, deception, and the freakish carnival of human nature. Early, our very own special interest-driven party machine handpicked two nominees amongst your group. We plan to go out on the city on a grand search to find a common man or woman with charisma, uh, intelligence, strong moral values, and a local address, because that's part of the law. But that would have been too much trouble, so we just went outside and talked to these people while they were waiting in the sweltering heat to get into the studio. And this is what we found. We found two nominees, straight and true. Jackie Lawson and Emmy Collins. Now it is time to introduce them here at the convention. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our two candidates for the nomination for a big deal president. <laughs> candidates, please join me on the floor. Please join me. All right, well, we're glad to have you both here. As you know, our last few presidential campaigns have taught us one thing. It's that politics is nothing more than a popularity contest. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to nominate the person who can bring the most of their friends here to the studio before the end of the show. We've got campaign vans for you outside. We also have cellular phones for you, right, guys? Security boys, watch the crowd. You never know who's in there. <laughs> We're going to send you out. We're going to send you out in the campaign vans. What you do is you drive around, getting all your friends, call them, tell them you're coming over. For as many people as you bring back here, whoever has the most delegates will be nominated for the big deal presidential candidate. That's and you can promise, you can tell these people, you promise you'll give them $100 a piece for coming down here with you. And if you win, you get a fabulous prize. Isn't that right, Kramer? Yeah, buddy. It's the ultimate video game prize package. You're going to have a lot of free time to use your three PlayStation video game systems and complete library of video games from EA Sports and Electronic Arts, including Madden NFL and Soviet Strike. And video gamers can enjoy hyper-amplified stereo surround sound and graphics with the personal video game TV. Features a subwoofer and folding speaker doors from Samsung Electronics. It's worth $6,720. Are you ready? Yep. Get back in your little uh, cavalcades here, motorcades. Yep. On your mark. You got to get back here before the end of the show. Get set. Go! Send them off, folks. Patriotic send off, please. Thank you, Leslie. Oh, yes. We're looking for someone who can give this nice little kitty a home. Who would like to give this kitty a home? Raise your hand. You, miss, the lady in the uh, red waving at me. What is your name, miss? Marsha? Come on down here, Marsha. Give Marsha a hand. Who else? I mean, one other person. One other person who would like to practically jump it out. What is your name, miss? Come on down here. Okay. Oh, isn't he cute? So cute. Okay. And what is your name, miss? Emmy. Emmy, this is no-name kitty. Scoot in close. Here's the deal. All we want 
is we want to find a nice, loving home for this little kitty. So all you have to do is get a saucer of milk for this kitty. Fair enough? Sounds easy, right? <laughs> okay. Sounds easy? Sure. All right. And you know what? Instead of going to the store, we actually brought the milk here. Let's open up those doors. We have two cows right here. do we have these little containers back here with a red line on them. you're gonna each sit down you're gonna milk the cow whoever gets the red line first has the milk for the kitty gets to keep the kitty okay sure you stand over here you uh like let the uh, scoot over the bed now watch first thing you do i'm not gonna spray it in there but when you milk it you're gonna spray it in there i'm just gonna you warm your hands up because i'm sure you've been to a bad doctor who didn't do that <laughs> all right so you you grab the thing and then you uh Why don't you sit down? We're gonna have you sit down here, Emmy. All you have to do is fill up the beakers up to the red line with milk. The first person to fill their beaker up to that red line wins the cute little kitty and we'll give it the milk. Fair enough? Hands on udders. Begin! A little milking music there, Scott. Yeah. You gotta aim it, make sure it gets in there. You better watch it. Too hard, Marsha. Hey, I told you. Oh. We've got a winner. Come on, Good job. Congratulations. Marsha, you did a damn fine job. Emmy, you did a great, great job. Come on down here. Oh, that was exciting. Have you, have you, give him a hand. They, they got the milk right over here. Gosh, where's the little kitty? There you go. What a cute little kitty. Oh, that is a cute, cute, you're a cute, and you got a nice home. A good provider. She can get you a quart and a half a day easy. <laughs> All right, so, so I called you both down here. You both wanted the kitty. I'm sorry I don't have two kitties to give, but you love that kitty, don't you? You're going to take care of it forever, aren't you? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, you'll take care of it, be a nice parent. You, you wouldn't trade that kitty for anything, would you? <laughs> would you trade it for what's behind the curtain? Or the answer. If you take what's behind the curtain, Marsha gets the kitty. If you keep the kitty, Marsha gets what's behind the curtain. Look how cute. Come on, curtain or kitty? Curtain or kitty, kitty or curtain, curtain or kitty, kitty or curtain. Get the kitty. Well, it's a good thing you really wanted that. You were jumping out of your seat there, Emmy. Give me the kitty. Give me the kitty. Uh, well, you gave up the kitty. Let's see what's behind the curtain. Hey, Kramer, what's back there? It's a Hobie Cat sailboat from Action Water Sports. A lightweight, durable 13 foot Hobie Cat wave with a hull of indestructible plastic and a tough jack rod sail. It's worth $3,350. Congratulations, Emmy. Go back to your seat. You may be able to come back later on for the big deal, but right now, give her a hand, folks. Man, I don't suppose I could entice you with what's on the screen to trade for the kitty, could I? Marsha? Give you a chance to trade the kitty for what's on the screen. She just won a big old boat. The kitty or the screen? Could be something good, it could be something bad, you don't know. That's a cute kitty, though. She's going to keep the kitty! is marvelous. Marsha, that's great. Congratulations. Let's see what she would have gotten if she had picked the screen, Kramer. It's an enormous ball of yarn. You can spend your days chasing it around the house, or then again, you can just throw it out. We can really care less what you do with it. It's a zonk. It's a big ball of yarn, though. You got it with that. You could knit one hell of a sweater with that. And plus, this is a nice cat. It's an orphan cat, but it's a pretty cool cat. It's kind of a special cat, isn't it, Kramer? Oh, you bet it is. It's a What's very so special, special cat. It? 
If you look really closely at the collar on your kitty, you'll see that it's no ordinary collar. It's a diamond tennis bracelet. If you think that beautiful 2.55 carat total weight diamond tennis bracelet looks good on your kitty, just wait till you try it on yourself. It's valued at $3,500. Give her a hand, folks. You can go on back to your seat. Give her a hand. And now, a big deal presidential update. And I need people to come with me and they get 100 bucks. Do you want to come? Tonight, we are going to find ourselves a rock star. Who in here thinks they could be a rock star, wants to be a rock star? Has the, you, sir, come here. What is your name, sir? I'm Percy. Percy? Yeah. And why, what, what makes you think you could be a good rock star? Because I move well and I can scream loud. <laughs> let, me see, let me see a little move for me right now. Pretty good? All right. Put them off one joint. Go on down and join our Pussycat Dolls right there. You have made the first cut, my friend. Who else thinks they could be a rock star? Who, 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 who? You come here, miss. What is, what is your name? Trudy. So you want to be a musician. Do you sing? Sure. I can sing. Can you sing, uh, I would like to hear a rock anthem, like a, a Van Halen version of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Sir, come here. Man. How you doing, Mark? What is your name, sir? My name is Brent. Brent. And what instruments do you play, Brent? I play an amazing triangle. Do you? Yeah. Can you play a little air triangle for me? Well, boom, doon, 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 Very good. Go on down there, Brent. We have our three contestants. Again, Pussycat Dolls, please escort the gentleman. They're looking pretty good. Gentlemen and ladies, excuse me. All right. Now, I am looking, I am looking for some lovers, some newlyweds, some people who are madly in love. <laughs> I want to pick on you just because you look so darn embarrassed. Stand up, miss. What is your name? You stand up too, sir. Melinda. Come on out here. Melinda. Melinda what? Melinda Skipworth. Then who's this big lug next to you? This is Marvin. Marvin what? What? We're not married. You're not? No. Are you in love? I guess you can call it that. <laughs> if I asked you right now if you'd like to make a little money, would you say yes? Yes. Are you willing to do something silly for the money? Yes. Excellent. Let's go down and play the funny honey. Funny. <laughs> Make sure everybody can see it, because gosh knows they're going to want to. Yes. Very simple game. Very simple game. You have a chance of winning $10,000 in this game. All right. All you got to do... I got these, uh, got these bumblebee boxers. All right. And I have these, uh, these uh, glasses things. Okay. I want you to go behind the screen, Marvin, take off all your clothes, <laughs> put on the boxers and the goggles. All right, go on back there now. Okay, you put on that little apron there. Wrap it around yourself. Very simple game, especially for you. All you have to do, no, you're right here. Now you stay right here. Look right down there. We have a vat filled with 100% pure honey. When your bow comes out here, Marvin's gonna stand on the big yellow circle. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to smear his naked, near naked body with as much honey as you can put on it. You get him from the top to the bottom, legs, chest, front, back, everything. Then you're gonna run over here you're going to stand on this big yellow circle. You're going to strap on what looks like a bazooka. It's not. It's a giant air gun. It's hooked to a bag filled with $10,000. We've got 500. We've got $520 bills. We're going to blow the 10 grand at him. When we're done, you're going to take a look at Marvin, and then we're going to, you're going to guess how much money is on him. And we have two accountants. Ernie, Bert, come on out here. They're in the hive. Ernie and Bert are accountants. Give them a hand, folks. Good to have you here. I'm going to ask you how many bills are on Marvin. If you're close, if you're within $200 either way, you get to keep the money. Simple enough? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Marvin the Bee. All right.
You gotta stand right here. <laughs> you cannot leave that circle, okay? okay? Can't leave that circle. Okay. You can't leave the circle. You can't grab the money with your hands. Only the money that sticks to you counts, okay? You gotta put your arms out. 30 seconds on the clock. You have 30 seconds to smear him with the honey, then we're gonna stop and you'll get over here. Ready? Get set. Schmear. Oh. Oh. Better hurry. Oh. Schmear all over. Front, legs, everything. Cover his entire body, Melinda. Pick it up off the ground and... St oh, you just slimed me. There you go. Schmear it all over, Melinda. Cover his leg. Not all of it. There you go. Time's up. Okay, you can pull your pants up there, Marvin. Wipe yourself off there, Melinda. Hop on down to the yellow circle. We have ten thousand dollars. Five hundred twenty dollar bills. On your mark. Can I move around? You can move around. On your mark. Get set. Blow the dough. We're going to cover them. All right, you cannot pick them up. Stand on there. All right, whatever is on there and whatever falls off, you get to keep. All right, and take a quick look at them. How many bills do you think are on Marvin? How many bills? The number of bills. The number of bills, not. yes. Um, 25. 25 bills. Okay, come on out here. Come on. Don't, you, can't, you can't look anymore. You got to stand out here. 25 bills. You know how much money that works out to? Um, 25 times 20 is $400. $500? That's exactly right, $500. I'm going to give you a $200 spread either way. So if he's got between $300 and $700 on him, you're going to win the money. It's that simple. Cool. And you two are so much in love, you can spend it on something that you can share. Like counseling. <laughs> now, <laughs> you can either keep that chance. You've said $500, okay? So if it's between $300 and $700, you get to keep it. Or you can forget the game and you could trade for what's on the screen. If you think you guessed right, stick with Marvin. If you think you blew it, you can go for the screen. She wants the screen. Ernie and Bert? Can you tell me how much money she actually blew all over Marvin? $1,700. Wow. So it's a good thing. You were way off. It's a good thing you went with the screen. So you pick the screen. Tell you what I'll do. I will give you $500 in clean money not to take the screen. Take the screen. 500 bucks. You want the screen. She wants the screen. Kramer, tell her what's up on the screen. It's a fabulous music prize package. It begins with tickets to the Neil Young, Patti Smith, Gin Blossoms concert at the Great Western Forum on September 11th. And so the music doesn't stop when you get home. We've thrown in new CDs and a Bose Lifestyle 12 home theater system. It has outstanding sound for movies or music, five cube speaker arrays, plus acoustic mass module, AM, FM radio, and a CD player. This package is worth $2,599. Come on back there, Melinda. Take the show. back there. We've got to play for the big deal. Give them both a hand, folks. you got to believe that's got to be fun. Noticing, we have a really good audience. I'm looking for a married couple. You two married? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. It's only for a married couple. Come on, careful, careful, careful. Come on down here. Oh, you're not sticky. I like you. <laughs> what is your name, miss? Sue. Sue, and your name, sir? Renee. Renee, how long have you been married, Renee? Four and a half years. Oh, are you happy? Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, I will give you $100 if you could find a woman in this room. Did you guys drive here together? Same car. Same car. Give you a hundred bucks if you can find a woman in this room prettier than your wife. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I will give you two hundred dollars. You can give me a thousand dollars and I won't find one. You're saying I could give you a thousand dollars? And if I gave you a thousand dollars, you could find a woman in this room prettier than your wife? 
I could do it, but I won't do it. The price is far too high. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, good. I give you a happily married couple. There's $100. There you go. Have a seat. We'll be right back. There's more cool stuff. Those three aspiring rock stars, because you know, even though they are aspiring, they had to work on their act. We had to sleek them up, get them all dressed up in their rock star gear, because we wanted to turn each of them into the biggest rock star ever. Uh, just to refresh our memory, sir, your name was. Oh, uh, my name's Percy. Percy? There's Percy after. <laughs> Nicely done. For those of the folks that don't recall, your name used to be... Judy. Thank you very much. This is before your transformation. That's right. You have now been transmogrified. Trudy was Elvis Idiot. <laughs> Not bad. You, sir, your pre-Delta name was what? Uh, um, it was Brent, baby. It was Brent. Brent? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice indeed. Well, of course, you know what has to happen whenever two or more Elvises gather in his name. They must sing an Elvis song, and they're going to because they're competing for this fabulous prize. Right, Kramer? It's a trip to Graceland. You and a friend will stay in the historic Peabody Hotel. You blend Southern hospitality with modern services. Don't miss the daily parade of the Marching Ducks, the Peabody Hotel Memphis, plus two hand-embellished screen prints on canvas from Martin Lawrence Galleries, Elvis 1 and 2 by Steve Kaufman, numbered and hand-signed by the artist and available at Martin Lawrence Galleries throughout the U.S., worth $4,034. Folks... We have three Elvises here, but I can't I, I'm so impartial. I cannot judge. We have gathered a celebrity panel of three judges who all knew the king, who can spot the Elvis-ness. So let me introduce them to you first, to my immediate left. She was in Kissing Cousins. She was in It Happened at the World's Fair, and I believe you kissed the king in both of those movies. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Yvonne Craig. <laughs> Next to you is a gentleman who actually was, was there at the inception of Elvis's career. He's been on a zillion television show. He's hosting the new hit television show, Deck. Ladies and gentlemen, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Thank, you, Thank you for coming, sir. Param Scarum. And what was it, uh, Girl Happy? Former Miss America, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Marianne Mo. Yes. Yes. Let's give our celebrity judges a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we have our three Elvises over there. They're going to do their little performance. You're going to grade them on a scale of one to five. Five is great. One is horrible. Okay, and the winner will get that fabulous trip. You're grading them on Elvis Ness, Elvis Ossity, and how good they can as as you All right? All right. I've talked enough. It's time to take care of business. King number one, take it away. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street, the heartbreak for the Judges, what did you think of Elvis number one? Percy, show us your scores, please. A four, a five, and a 
five. 14 for Percy, very nice. Moving on to Elvis number two, Trudy. Ella, uh, judges, what did you think of Trudy? A two, a three. I thought he was wonderful, but... A two, that's a seven. Not bad, though. Finally, Brad Elvis, number three. Judges, what did you think of number three? A four from Wink, a three from Yvonne, a three from Marianne. That means Elvis, number one. Percy, you are the king. Come on down here, my friend. There's a skirt. Wipe it off. There you go. Congratulations right here. Well, we'll give one more shake. One more shake. Congre wow, congratulations, Percy. It's beautiful. Give our celebrity judges one more hand, folks. Thank you, folks. What'd you give number one? All right. All right, so you got the trip to Graceland, Percy. You want to see something else? You, you got that. You can keep that if you want, but you want to see something else really, really cool? Yeah, let's go. I'm telling you, this is guaranteed cool. I'm going to give you a chance, if you want, All right. to win this. Kramer? It's a cherry 1970 right top pink Cadillac DeMille. You look just like the king when you drive down the street in this baby. It may be the coolest thing you've ever been offered, so if you win it, try not to crash it. It's worth $5,800. You can trip to Graceland, okay. or you can trade me that trip to Graceland for a chance to win that fabulous pink Cadillac deal and something that we like to call the great big deal Elvis toss. You want to know what that is? Uh, yes, I would. I like All it. All right, Sandy, turn on the uh, outside camera. Let's see what's going on out there. We're looking at the roof right now. <laughs> on top of the roof here, we've got three Elvises. All you have to do to win that convertible Cadillac is toss Elvis into the Cadillac. Now, whatever you take... You get to keep whatever you don't take, the runner-up Elvis gets. Uh, oh, wait a minute, you said, you said now that. I could actually take the car right now if I want to and walk out of here? No, no, you can take the trip to Graceland, or you can give me back the trip to Graceland, exchanging it for a chance to participate in perhaps the most incredible stunt ever staged, the big deal Elvis toss. You want the car, you want the trip. I want the car. He wants the car. Okay, you stay right here. That means, Brent, you are the runner-up. Come on down here. Congratulations. Brent, you get the trip to Graceland, Thank folks. Give much. Brent a big hand for being the runner-up. Please, please, can't all the Elvises just get along? All right, Brent, you got to go sit in the audience and keep that suit on the rest of the show. Don't forget, you may have a chance to play for the big deal later on. Okay. You made that choice, Percy. We're going to come back and see if this Elvis right here, folks, is going to win the big deal Elvis toss. Not only that, but when we come back, we are going out to the Blair family in Pomona, California. Mr. Blair, are you there? Yes, I am. Here's the deal. Are you prepared to demolish part of the front of your house for our enjoyment? Absolutely. All right, when we come back, the Blairs are going to trash their house, and we're going to be throwing Elvises off the roof. How could you not want to come back? Right, Kramer? That's right. We're going to do some major redecorating when we get back, so don't move. Primetime Sports at 9. Jimmy Johnson returns to the NFL. Highlights at 9. It's a big deal. I think from now on, we're going to have to change the name of the show. It's going to be big, 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 big deal because we have two cool things coming up in this part of the show. First of all, Elvis has left the building, but now he is up on top of it. Sandy, you got that roof camera on? Where's the glasses, Elv? Did you lose yeah, it? They put him on the, uh, on the other Elvis. On the Elvises. We have three Elvises there. We're on top of the roof of the studio here, Studio 2. All you have to do to win that fabulous convertible 1970 cherry pink convertible is toss one of those three dummies off the roof. And we have the three most uh, popular Elvis dummies there is. You got Army Elvis, you got Skinny Elvis, and of course my personal favorite, fat fried peanut butter banana Elvis. <laughs> now, here's the deal. You're going to toss Elvis off the roof, and if any part of him lands in or touching the red interior part of the car, you win the car. It's that simple. <laughs> All right, so okay. we're going to throw one Elvis at a time off the roof. All you got to do is land one in there, you win the car. If you don't land any of them in there, or at least touching the red interior of the car, you don't win it. You don't win anything. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> is that how Elvis would respond? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Ready for Army Elvis toss? I'm ready. Little drum roll, please. Let him rip. <laughs> no. 
That is a no win. You got him on the trunk. His foot's touching the top. It is not touching the red interior of the car. It's time to toss Skinny Elvis. Oh. <laughs> One, two. Let him go. Now, it got big, fat, fried peanut butter and banana, Elvis. This is your last chance. It's got to be in or touching the red and tear of the Cadillac to win the Cadillac. Go ahead and give it a toss. Oh! New I'm Sorry. You came close. You got him on the trunk. I'll tell you what. I'll give you 100 bucks just to get yourself some peanut butter and fried bananas. Thanks very much for playing. And you can keep the Elvis wig because you look so darn good in it. Thanks for playing. Give him a hand, folks. Now we are going a little further. For this deal, we are going live via satellite to the front of the Blair's home in Pomona, California. Blair's, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, what a beautiful family. Uh, Mr. Blair, where are you? I'm right here. Okay, now do you own this house, sir? Yes, yes we do. Here's the deal. This is live via satellite from Pomona, California. We're going to give you 60 live seconds to break every single window on the front of your house. That's Are you ready to do that? Uh, we're ready. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if, if you break all the windows, you'll win this incredible prize. Oh, Kramer. Yeah. It starts with a houseboat vacation. Forever Resort's unique houseboat vacation equipped for safety and comfort as well as fun. Get away from it all, relax, and enjoy a vacation you'll remember forever from Forever Resort's. And to keep things exciting on the lake, we're throwing in a Yamaha Wave Runner 3, the ultimate family watercraft, with room for three large storage areas and fun for everyone. It does things other watercrafts don't. Yamaha Wave Runner 3. We replace all your broken windows with new double-pane tinted windows and frames, guaranteed to protect you from that wicked Pomona climate. It's a prize package worth $19,500. $19,000 is not bad money for 60 seconds of work. Okay. Now, here's the deal. We got okay. a, we got 300 baseballs there for you, right? We yep. want everyone in your family to pick up the baseballs. You'll be whipping them at the windows. If you break all the windows, you get that prize. If you do not break all the windows, you'll be sleeping in a very breezy home this, this evening, Mr. Blair. Now, to give us a play-by-play -play of the event, right there is Emmy Award-winning announcer, Mr. Tom Kelly of Prime Sports. He's also the voice of the USC Trojans. Hey, Tom, are you there? I'm right here, Mark. Let me tell you, we've got a yellow line here. It's uh -huh. 36 feet from the front of the house, about 300 baseballs. The lovely Priscilla is going to be keeping track of the time. We've got 60 seconds. And you know, I've always wanted to break a window in a house. Would you do the honors of throwing out the first ball, Tom? <laughs> I'd love to, but I don't know if I can. Would you hold this for me? Yes, I will. Be right back. <laughs> Here we go. Winder up there. There you go. Nice toss. All right, players, put on the baseball caps and goggles. You got about uh, 16 more to go. Get yourselves lined up. All right, we have 60 seconds on the clock. Blairs, are you ready? Put up your hands in the air if you're ready. Go oh, ahead, Tom. Right, Priscilla, it. start the clock. Here we go. On your mark, go. Unbelievable. This could open up a whole new world of sports entertainment. Breaking windows in the front of your house. They've only got a minute to take out all these windows. They better get a move on because time might be running out on them. All right, they're going to go over the other side now and help them out. There's Aaron. Beautiful throw by Aaron. Takes up the one up on top on the right side. And Michael has just cleaned up his side. And now the old man Al and son Ryan have done a devastating job on the front of this side of the house. Looks like they've done it. It's all done. Beautiful job. Thanks for play by play, Tom Kelly. They got them all, folks. Congratulations, players. You did it. You won it. You won the houseboat vacation. You won the Wave Runner. And you won the new windows for your house. That's a great job. Don't forget, later on the show, we may come back to you and give you an opportunity to trade in all those prizes for a shot at the really big deal. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right. And now, let's check in with our presidential candidate. Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to put me over the top. Well, well for me. For president. President. Let's go. Woo! Hey. Jackie. 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 It is time to 
find out exactly how well our two nominees did for the office of president of Big Deal Party. Let's welcome them back to the studio now, Jackie Lawson and Emmy Collins. Bring them in with their motorcades. Step up. Welcome back to the studio. Now, as you recall, at the very beginning of the show, we sent you both out with cellular phones and a cold hard cash to gather as many of your friends as you could. Whoever has more delegates here will be nominated as the official big deal candidate for president of the United States in 1996. From the great state of California. Ladies and gentlemen, the delegates for Mr. Emmy Collins. Let's see how many you got there. Friends of Emmy. How many delegates do you have, Emmy? That's 12. Emmy has 12. Let's see how many delegates Jackie Lawson has. How many is that? 12. We have a tie on the convention floor. We are going to open up the nomination proceedings to you, our convention delegates. Each candidate will get 10 seconds to make a speech to convince you, our delegates, that they should be the nominee for the party. It is now time to open the floor to the nominating speeches. First of all, from Long Beach, California, Ms. Jackie Lawson. Well, um, hey, who wouldn't want me and this motley crew over here running their country? You know it'd be a great place. California, our other nominating speech, Mr. Emmy Collins. There you go, Emmy. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Number one, it's going to be a free throwdown dance party at the White House the night I'm elected. I love you all. Thank you so much. And don't forget to dance. There you go. There you have it, conventioneers. It is time for you to vote. If you think that Jackie should be our next nominee, let me hear it from you. All right. If you think Emmy should be our next nominee. done quite yet any right here stand right here now as you know we uh, told you that for every person that you got to come here we would give you a hundred dollars so that you could give that to them I have twelve hundred dollars here for you hold that all right one two three four five there's twelve trust me there you I go okay it. Twelve hundred dollars. You can give that to your people. Don't forget, because you won, you also won that fabulous video game package oh, with the you. three TVs. And you're gonna actually, we're gonna run you for president now. Yes. All right. Since you are, come here. Since you are a politician, uh -huh. this would be an ideal time for you to start acting like one. I'm gonna oh. give you the opportunity to renege on your first campaign promise. So what you do, you give me back the money that you were gonna give to them. You give me back the prizes that we're going to give to you, and I will give you what's behind that blue curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go for it? Well, they don't want you to go for it. <laughs> they don't want you to shaft them. What do you say? I, I just can't shaft my people. I'm going to give them the money. He cannot shaft his people. They're going to get the money. Congratulations, oh, Emmy. Oh Let's see what you turn down behind the curtain there. Kramer, what's back there? Nice choice, Mr. President, because it's a jackass. We just thought anybody who'd shamelessly sell out his own friends would enjoy spending time with one of his own. You're an honest politician. Because of that, I'm giving you an extra thousand dollars for your pack. That's for you. The rest of the money is for you guys. Congratulations. I'm glad you were here. Thank you, man. Trade it. All right, they do not. They're going to keep it. 
that's good. Our next biggest winner was Emmy. You won over uh, $6,000. You got the video package. The extra 1000 bucks. Your friends get to keep that money. I'm only asking you to trade what you want. Are you in or out for the big deal? I'm in. He is in. We have one player. Our next biggest winner. Where's Brent? Where's Brent or Elvis? He won over the $4,000 Graceland package. You want to trade it for a shot at the big deal, Brent? Elvis is in. Anybody can win on Big Deal. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and you'd like to try your luck and be a member of our studio audience, call 213-468-9409. Welcome back to Big Deal. It is time for The Big Deal. That means we've got three screens. Screen number one, screen number two, and screen number three. It is your job, gentlemen, to choose the correct screen. You're the big winner of the night, Emmy. You won uh, $6,000. You had all that video stuff. I got to give you an extra $1,000. And you are the candidate of choice for the big deal party in the 1996 presidential election. It means you get to go first. Tell me which screen you'd like to choose. I would like screen number three, please. Screen number three for Emmy. All right. Brent, you got that fabulous outfit plus the trip to Graceland. You are choosing next. We got screens one and two available. On uh, screen number one. Brent wants screen number one. Emmy wants screen number three. So let's take a look at screen number three. It's a fabulous ski vacation. You'll be flying to Park City, Utah for seven amazing days of riding the Rocky Mountains. You'll be staying at the Radisson Inn Park City. Enjoy fine dining, breathtaking mountain views, indoor, outdoor pools, saunas, and hot tubs. Provided by Radisson Inn Park City, Utah. And we're even throwing in six-day ski passes. Check out these two snowboards, Nitro Snowboards. Snowboards made for snow. Throw in his or her snowboards with Nitro Phase 2 bindings. Don't worry about your feet. They'll be comfortable in airwalk boots. Just try not to run into a pole. This package is worth $4,000. You lost a little bit of money, but that's still a pretty great prize. Congratulations. Great. Give him a hand, folks. It. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you, people. All right. Brent, you traded in that trip to Graceland. You picked screen number one. That's right. So let's take a look at screen number two. It's Laker season tickets. You're not going to one game, you're going to every game. With your season tickets to the Lakers, you'll be the most popular person at work. And that's not all, because All-Star Collectible CityWalk is throwing in a basketball personally autographed by Shaquille O'Neal himself. Follow your hoop dreams, All-Star Collectible CityWalk. This prize package is worth over $2,095. Yeah, but friends, it is not the big deal of the day. The big deal is to try and screen number one, and you got it, my friend. Let's take a look. It's a brand new car. The Ford Explorer Sport 2-door, 5-speed V6 fuel-injected, 160 horsepower. This beauty is Ford Top. It's a prize worth $22,000. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Emmy. Thanks for watching the show tonight, folks. That's it. That's Big Deal. We'll see you next week. This is Mark DeCarlo saying bye-bye. Let's go see Promotional consideration provided by Southwest Airlines. Fly Southwest Airlines, celebrating 25 years of low fares, frequent flights, and fun. And some of the prizes are from service merchandise. Shop for top name brands from their catalog or at any of their over 400 stores nationwide. Service merchandise. Plus, Jonel Save a Nail is the perfect emergency repair kit for broken and split nails. Men's nails instantly and safely, as quick as you can say, Jonel. Jonel Nail Care Products, beautiful nails made easy.
Stanley production. Here we go. You fill me with passion. Like an old 